Color grading multicam clips can seem a bit tricky at first, but I've got three ways to do it from beginner to pro. Let's start off with method one. Here we've got a timeline using a multicam clip and we've got these different angles changing. Method one is a beginner method. It's easy and quick, but it doesn't offer you as much control. Switch over to the color page. We'll start with this first angle. We'll just make a few basic changes. Come over to HDR and we'll go and increase the exposure. To make it clear what's happening, I'm also gonna give this a crazy color cast. Now what we can do is find the other multicam clips where this angle is being used. This is the same angle. We can just copy the grades from this first one. With this clip selected, hover your mouse over this clip that we just graded and press your mouse scroll wheel or mouse middle button. And that's going to copy the grade and you can see it down here. You can also select multi Multiple clips and copy. We've only got one more of this one. Just going to click the middle button or the mouse wheel on my mouse to copy that grade. Let's do the same thing for this angle. We'll just change the exposure and we'll give this crazy purple cast. Click all of the other angles that are the same. Middle mouse click on this one and now all of those have got that crazy grade and we'll do the same thing for this one. And you can see now we've got all of those angles with those crazy colors. Okay, let's move on to method two, the intermediate method, and that's to color grade the underlying multicam clip. We'll head back to the edit page, open up the media pool, find the multicam clip, right click, and choose open in timeline. This is going to open up that multicam clip in the timeline down here. And here we've got the three video files that make up the three camera angles. Switch over to the color page. And now we can just grade the source of these three camera angles independently. Make that one pink, make that one green, and make that one blue. Head back to the edit page. We've still got that multicam clip open in the timeline. But now when we edit with this multicam clip, you can see in the timeline, that color grade flows through to the timeline. And let's say you had a special case in one of these clips that you just wanted to modify. You can come back to the color page and you can add another grade. So this is going to take what was set in the multicam clip and then change it. So let's just go and change the contrast. It's not going to affect the other clips in the timeline that use that same camera angle. You can see here we've got the contrast and here no contrast because now in this clip we've got the grade that we applied to the multicam and the grade that we apply to the clip in the timeline. All right, on to method three, and this is more of a pro approach. Let me show you how it works. We'll head back to the edit page and we'll open up our timeline that uses these multicam clips. The first thing you're going to want to do in this approach is back up the timeline. You can do that by right clicking on it and choosing duplicate timeline. You need to do this. You can see we've got the duplicate copy here because what we're going to do is actually take the timeline, remove all of the multicam clips by flattening them. And that's going to give us access to the under line clips. So here's our backup. Make sure you're opening the original one. The reason we take a backup is because you can't undo this operation. Select everything, right click on any one of these clips with them all selected, come up here and choose flatten multicam clip. If you had set grades in the multicam clip itself, you could copy those to the flattened clips. Or if you'd already done some color grading in the separate angles, you can retain them here. We haven't done either of these things because we reset all the grades. So I'm just gonna copy multicam grades. And now look what's happened down in the timeline. We're no longer dealing with multicam clips here. It's replaced the multicam clip with the underlying part of the video file that represented that camera angle. That means we can no longer switch over to multicam view and you can see we've got no camera angles we can switch between now because these are no longer multicam clips but what that does mean is that we can go and use our regular color grading methods maybe we come to the color page we could select one of the angles come up to the clip filter choose common media pool source just so we get all of the clips that belong to that underlying file select them all and either copy and paste grades or do something like create a new group and now because they're part of a group, we can go and use the group pre-clip or the group post-clip to make changes to everything in this group. And because they're all part of that group, all of the clips that use that underlying file, because they're part of the group, is one of them, is two of them, is three of them, will all now be color graded the same. You can switch back to all clips and you could add these ones into their own group. The benefit of doing this is that you can just use those groups and whatever you change in those groups will affect all of that clips using that camera angle. The downside of this approach is, as we already saw, if you switch back to the edit page, we no longer have the ability to switch between camera angles unless we go and re-import the multicam clip and match it up to that part of the timeline and then switch the angle and then flatten it again. So if you're gonna use 
use this approach, then I highly recommend that you make sure your edit and your cuts are basically finished before you move on to this color grading process using approach three. I have come up with an interesting workaround for the fact that when you move to the color page, when you're using a multicam clip, it just says multicam and you don't have the ability to filter in the color page by the underlying multicam angle. I worked out how to get around that limitation and I'm gonna cover that in the next video. So make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. I'm Jason Roberts, this is DaVinci Dojo and I'll see you in the next one.